In this tutorial, we're now going to create a createstaff.php page. So I've done the read, update and delete in previous videos in this playlist. Now we're going to just create a record in the database. I've got my createstaff.php file saved and ready to go. And in it are the essential parts that we usually have in all of these pages. We've got our connection to the database and we've got our closed connection after that. So what I want to put in here is I want to put in a form and the form is just going to post to a new page called insertstaff.php and inside that form I'm just going to take in the forename and the surname that the user wants to create. I don't have to worry about the ID because that's a primary key and it's auto incremented in the database. So then after that I just need to put in a submit button and I'm putting in text on that called create staff. So this is just to get the information from the user once the button gets pressed, it's going to send all of that information in the post array over to instartstaff.php. And this is the way it looks in the browser. There we go. And we can fill in the different names and go create staff. Now to create this insertstaff.php page. So to that end, I've just gone and created a new file called insertstaff.php. And again, I've used the other files as a template, but I've taken out the things that were individual to those files. So I've got my PHP connection to the database and I've got the close connection as well. And then I just focus on putting in the different things I need for the insert staff. So uh, I need a PHP block. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take in the forename and the surname that the user posted into the form on the previous page, assign them into a forename and surname variable. And then I'm going to create my SQL query. So for an insert staff, the SQL for that is insert into T staff, pick out the two different field names that you need, and then assign in the different variables, uh, the forename and the surname that the user has put in on the previous form. And then lastly, let's execute the query with MySQLi query. And we're putting that into an if statement. And MySQLi query, it returns a true if the connection is successful and the query is, um, uh, the query is executed successfully. So in that case, I am just going to echo out the staff member, put in the forename, the surname was created successfully. And then it returns a false if uh, there was a problem inserting the record into the database. And in that case, I'm just going to alert the user, you know, there's been a problem. That uh, record hasn't been created. So let's just test that in the browser. I'm going to save that. I go back to my browser. Here we have my create staff page. And I'm just going to put in a name, Keith. And we will put in Jones. And so I'll come along here, create staff. Staff member Keith Jones was successfully created. And then I just need to go back to show staff. And I'll eventually put in a header to that for me or a meta tag to just redirect, show staff. And I can see Keith Jones has been created there. So that is the final part of the CRUD, just to create uh, a record in the database from PHP in a MySQL database. Remember that that create section was part of an overall playlist and in the other videos in the playlist previously you'll find the read, the update and the delete sections as well. If you found this video or any part of the playlist helpful, uh, please do me a favor, make sure that you like the video and feel free to subscribe to my channel. Thanks.